Hello and welcome back to SF at Giants Recap. And the Giants, they beat the Rockies 8-6, to getting their second win in a row. We finally have some wins after a rough weekend. So it's good to see the Giants getting back on track. And hopefully this can kind of translate into wins that aren't against the worst team in the league. And seeing some more improvement with this team. So we're going to go over all that in today's video. Make sure to subscribe and like if you do end up enjoying but for the Giants, their offense, they showed up uh, the second inning. Six runs. Great to see. Michael Conforto, he started off with a homer. Ellie Ramos showed up. Nick Ahmed placed down a great bunt to score a run. Jung Hoo Lee hit a nice double. Good to see Jung Hoo Lee to start. He's starting to get the bat going. I think he can be really, really dangerous when he gets that bat. Uh, getting those line drives because he makes contact. It's not about that. It's about... Hard line drive contact, and he's started to do that a lot more lately. Lamont Wood Jr. continues to be a beast, and we've seen a lot of um, improvement with him. And then Blake Sable, he showed up with a double today, along with Matt Chapman, who had a single. So that's your scoring for everyone who got an RBI. Uh, we saw a lot of good game, a great game from Conforto, obviously. Yastrzemski had two hits, scored two runs as well, and then Chapman. So... Chapman and Yastrzemski kind of surprised me today, but you'll take what you get, and if they get two hits today, maybe that's a sign for good things to come. And the main thing I want to point out for today's game, only six strikeouts. The Giants, we always seem to do well with the less strikeouts. The, less, the least amount of strikeouts we have, then the better we end up doing, no matter if we only have six hits, but we only have four strikeouts, we're going to end up putting the ball on play more, making things happen, maybe manufacturing a couple more runs than we would if we have, let's say, 10 strikeouts. So strikeouts are a big deal with this team. Uh, for the pitching in today's game, uh, Jordan Hicks, he performed pretty good. Five innings, five strikeouts. He did allow two walks and seven hits, but limited the damage to only three runs, which is really doable when you have a six-run second inning. So good to see there. Sean Jelly, he only allowed one run in his uh, two-thirds of an inning appearance today. Taylor Rogers, he had a solid inning, getting a double play ball. Ryan Walker, he had a strikeout in his inning of relief. Tyler Rogers, he also had a strikeout in his inning. And then committed the ball, he allowed a two-run homer, but uh, limited the damage to where we still got the win. So, not an amazing pitching performance like yesterday was but contain them to at least get the win, and in course Field, you'll take what you can get. You never know. The ball can pop off at any time. So uh, getting the win, limiting the damage, and making things happen on the offense, that gets you the win like we did today. Hopefully, we can get the sweep. The sweep would be huge because the Rockies, you have to take advantage of the games against bad teams because if you're not going to beat the bad teams, you're definitely not going to beat the good teams, and definitely not going to beat the great teams. So that's the difference between if the Giants are going to be successful is to go out and crush and beat the bad teams and take advantage of that instead of playing down to their level, which we have in the past a lot. So getting the sweep tomorrow would be huge, and I really, really hope that we can finish the series out, go back home to play the Reds, and have some momentum going forward and get something going because we've had a lot of downs lately so a big up right now would be big for this team so that will do it for today's recap thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next time for a new sf giants recap video